Hey guys, this is Neil, your Pinoy Plantito, and today we'll just have a really quick video, and I'm just gonna update you with some of the developments in my vertical garden. <music> the DIY vertical garden which we did together last time and I consider this to be the the cheapest or not really a good term the most inexpensive vertical garden that I ever made this also is the fastest one to finish guys because I I did it for about an hour less than an hour and I'm finished with this project so um, I did this because the last time I made a vertical garden which kind of cost a lot not because of the materials used but because I use some rare and somewhat expensive plants but this vertical wall is just basically something that anyone can afford and can do themselves because it's so easy to do and it only utilizes common plants so uh, I only spent about 1,000 pesos or $20 to put up to set up everything here in this vertical garden but of course a lot of people are commenting in the in the last video and telling me that's because you live in another place yeah of course that's a big big consideration guys uh, it really depends where you live because I live in the province and I live in the Philippines and um, a lot of tropical plants here are very cheap and uh, for example uh, you can buy this one for 25 pesos which is basically a quarter of a dollar and uh, this one for 100 pesos which is two dollars and a, a lot of in most of these plants actually you can just go to your neighbor and um, ask for a cutting and they will they will really give you yeah I also do that but things have changed now people are coming here asking for cuttings so it's the other way around now and this vertical garden is also located in a sun exposed area and actually this is the brightest and the hottest spot in my garden guys and because of that almost my entire 80 square meter backyard is by now fully utilized and I have set up a lot of vertical gardens a lot of I created some focal points in all those areas and the only remaining spot that I haven't done a lot with is this area and the reason for that was because it's uh, too sun exposed and not too many plants will will thrive here but the good thing in setting up a vertical garden with sun loving plants is that uh, when you put more vegetation in one area it encourages life because it increases humidity and um, also it provides more foliage as cover so when you put plants together they tend to protect each other from from the harsh effect of the sun so that's a good thing about uh, about um, having a vertical garden so I'm hoping that by putting more vegetation in this place the area which used to be like almost a dead spot will eventually uh, encourage more life so what we will do today is have a rearrangement of this vertical garden and the reason for that is because I really don't like the way it looks right now um, I'm gonna show you why so this is the side of my house guys and it's actually my vertical garden is located somewhere on the side like it's not balanced can you see that that is how ugly it looks so what we'll do is we're gonna put it in the center and instead of a vertical one, I'm gonna make it into a like a, what do you call it? Horizontal or parallel, okay? So we're gonna do a parallel garden today. That's a different thing, all right? I will move this planter uh, over there so that there will be like a sense of balance. So this is gonna be a really quick project, guys. Like it wouldn't take me an hour to do this because it's really the quickest and the least expensive vertical garden by the way guys uh if you want to check out all those other vertical gardens that i did 
in this channel, you can do so. Just check out some of the contents of this channel. It includes a lot of garden makeovers and and uh, a lot of uh, garden projects, landscaping projects, as well as plant care, uh, plant traveling, and all those things. And if it's your first time in this channel, I would like to welcome you. Make this your home channel. So feel free to hit that subscribe and notification button so you'll be updated with all the latest videos coming out in this channel. And yeah, I would like to encourage you also to hit like and uh, share some of the videos you find here. So if you're ready guys, let's start. I'm done installing the mesh wire. It's pretty easy. All you need to do is just uh, tighten the, the wire so that it will be more stable. All right, so let's set up our green wall. Alright guys, and we're done with our 
vertical garden. And it's, it's cheap, it's really fast. It, it took me just 45 minutes to finish everything. And it's, and most especially, it is tough. This one is composed of a lot of sun-loving plants. And uh, even a 10-year-old can do this, guys. So, yeah. I'm loving how it's looking now than before. As you can see, it's already located at the very center of this area. Ah, uh, yeah. So that's about it for me today, guys. I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope to see some of your vertical gardens soon. This is Neil and I hope to see you again next time.